The Johns Hopkins Center for Gun Policy and Research was established 25 years ago with a grant from the Joyce Foundation. The mission of our center is to reduce gun violence in America and promote justice and equity. A foundation of our work and our ability to have impact is really based upon the scientific rigor of our research. Prior to the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary in December 2012, there was very little public uh, opinion information on gun policy, but in, in reality, there was really just an information void. I'm very proud of the work of Johns Hopkins and our center for being able to step in and begin a, a rigorous research uh, approach to trying to better understand the contours of public opinion on gun policy in America. Our center does an every two years national public opinion survey of a representative sample of U.S. adults. And the goal of the survey is to track public support for various types of gun violence prevention policies over time. So writ large, I think the key finding is that large majorities of Americans, including both gun owners and non-gun owners, support a wide range of gun violence prevention policies. We're seeing increases in support for a relatively new kind of policy called an extreme risk protection order. This is a state law that creates a mechanism where family members can petition the court to have a firearm temporarily removed from a loved one who is behaving dangerously. Our center has always been keenly interested in questions about how guns make their way into the hands of people who are too dangerous to have them and are legally prohibited. For the past 10 years, We've really established ourselves as a leader when it comes to the research on understanding the impacts of licensing. When we've looked at outcomes such as homicide, suicide by firearm, diversions of guns for use in crime, how guns move through an underground market, with every outcome we've examined, we found that licensing as a complement to comprehensive background checks are an effective tool to reduce gun deaths. Our center is public-facing um, outward educational programs which are available to the general public. I would say really took off in 2018. We held our first um, Summer Youth Institute in last year, 2019, and it was an opportunity for us to invite uh, 50 high school age students from across the country to come to an in-person three and a half day workshop in Baltimore uh, to learn from our center's faculty. We launched our massive open online course in May 2019 called Reducing Gun Violence in America, Evidence for Change. Um, and it was the first ever online course on gun violence prevention. The Teach Out model is one that was developed by the University of Michigan. So the Teach Outs is a way to essentially convene people from you know, an, an open to a global public audience to come together and learn about an issue that is really important to us in our society. So my training at the center was unique in that the faculty members are devoted to gun policy and research, not just for the sake of doing the research and publishing, but are really committed to translating the research into practice. One project that has really been a highlight of my experience with the center was the collaborative between Johns Hopkins and the city of Baltimore to reduce gun violence. I'm the director of safety and community partnership. At Roca Baltimore, a lot of the information, a lot of the data that the center has produced has really helped because it kind of lets us know if we're on the right path. As we look ahead, we are going to be focused a great deal on racial justice as we have in recent years, but even more so. And we're gonna build on some of the work that we started in Baltimore. Enforcing gun laws is important, but it must be done in the, in the proper way so that the policies that advocates work so hard to pass translate into more lives saved.